look at to this example two forces P and Q are acting at point O so here we have force P is equal to 40 kiloton and force Q is equal to 30 kiloton those acting at point O with some angle that is 60 degree so the question is that to find out the resultant in terms of magnitude and direction so look at to that the solution of the problem so as we see in the lecture of uh, law of parallelogram to find out the magnitude we just use the equation that is derived in earlier lecture so the magnitude of resultant that is r is equal to under root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta so this is the equation that gives a magnitude of a resultant now here force p is 40 kN and force q is 30 kN so same way here p is equal to 40 and q is equal to 30 and that is acting with uh, angle 60 degree so theta is equal to 60 so these values are putting in this equation we got the equation r is equal to square root of 40 square plus 30 square plus 2 into 40 into 30 into cos 60 right if we solve this equation we have a magnitude of the resultant that is r is equal to 60.83 kilonewton now if we go further for the direction of resultant direction of resultant so for that we use alpha or uh, we can just draw it if it is required let us say this is our resultant and that makes a alpha angle with the force q so alpha is equal to tan inverse in bracket p sin theta divided by q plus p cos theta again by putting the value of force p q and theta we have alpha is equal to 10 inverse 40 into sine 60 divided by 30 plus 40 into cos 60 now if you solve this it will give alpha is equal to 34.72 degree in this particular direction so now we have number one that is magnitude of the resultant and number two that is a direction of the resultant so you can now graphically present that in form of a resultant direction and the magnitude so if you want to draw that figure again so again this is our force p and second force is a q 
and in between that we have a resultant so this is our resultant force r and the value of that resultant is equal to 60.83 kN right 60.83 kN now looking to the alpha value so this is the alpha that will make with a force q and the value of that that is 34.72 degree so with looking to the axis represented here this is a graphical representation of the resultant in terms of magnitude and direction let us see another example so here you require to find the resultant of previous problem the problem is same but the angle between two forces that is now 150 degree instead of 60 degree so here force p is equal to 40 kN and force q is equal to 30 kN same as the previous problem but instead of here in previous problem the degree is 60 now it is 150 so now look at to the solution of this particular problem so to find out the magnitude of resultant again we have to use a equation r is equal to under root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta and if you put a given value of force p q and theta into the equation so r is equal to 40 square plus 30 square plus 2 into 40 into 30 into cos now it is 150 degree so if we solve that the resultant is equal to 20.53 kN so this is the value of magnitude of resultant if we go further to find out a direction of resultant so here theta is 150 so directly we found out uh, theta or you can say the alpha so alpha is equal to 10 inverse p sine theta divided by q plus p cos theta this is the equation to find out uh, angle that resultant makes with the force q so if you put value of p q and theta so our angle alpha that equals to 10 inverse 40 sine 150 divided by 30 plus 40 into cos 150 if you solve that the answer of that alpha that is in minus minus 76.94 degree now in previous case we have answer in positive now the answer is in negative so the alpha is negative as a denominator of above equation so the angle alpha that is with respect to the positive x that is required to find out 
so to find out that you can just uh, write down alpha is equal to so alpha is equal to 180 minus 76.94 degree so that equals to 103.06 degree and that is this is respect to the x with respect to x axis so this is the magnitude of the resultant and this is a angle or you can say the angular direction of the resultant that is made with respect to the x axis now that is also required to represent graphically so here we again draw force P and uh, another force that is force Q now that forces are acting at 150 degree now we draw a resultant of that particular force that is nothing but uh, R with magnitude of 20.53 kilonewton and with respect to the x that means with respect to the force q value of alpha is equal to 103.06 degree now in this example two forces act an angle of 60 degree so force p and q that is acting at a 60 degree so our theta value that is a 60 degree now the resultant is given here so in previous example forces are given but we have to find out the magnitude of resultant and the direction but here the resultant is given as 50 newton and that is acting at a 30 degree with one of the forces so let us take a 30 degree with force q so here we require to find out the value of the given two forces that means the value of force p and force q is required to find out now let us see the solution of that so in solution we have a so in solution now according to the law of parallelogram of forces we can again write down that equation of resultant that is r square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta right now whatever the value given to us that we have to put so r is equal to 50 that means 50 square is equal to p is not given q is also not given plus 2 into pq cos 60 degree so this is the equation after putting the values given so that we take as equation number one now if you go further or take a second equation to find out the direction so that is 10 alpha so here we put direct value so alpha is equal to 30 that equals to p sine theta that means p sine 60 divide by q plus p cos 60 so our tan 30 the value of tan 30 is equal to 0 0.577 is equal to again if you sort out sin 60 so that is 0 0.866 p divide by here that is q remains same 
and the value of cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2 so that is p by 2 or you can write down 0 0.577 if we take this value denominator this side so that is q plus p by 2 is equal to 0 0.866 p so by sort out this equation we can again write down 0 0.577 p is equal to 0 0.577 q right if you solve that equation you will get this so here both the values are same so we can get p is equal to q so both the forces are with the same magnitude here that is clear now if p is equal to q we just use these two or this equation as a value of that so we can put here q or put here p and solve the equation so again using equation 1 we have 50 square is equal to you can put the p is equal to q so again q square plus q square plus 2 into q into q cos 60 now if we sort out that equation so this will be a q square q square and this is also q square so q square will come out so again you can write down that 50 square is equal to q square so this term again 50 square is equal to q square outside from all the terms that will be 1 plus 1 plus 2 cos 60 now cos 60 is 0.5 so total value that we got is 50 square divided by 3 is equal to q square now if we sort out the q is equal to 28.86 kilonewton that is same as the force p so this is a final value of uh, force p and force q so here we have q is equal to 28.86 kilonewton and in force p that is also same as the force q that is 28.86 kilonewton so this is the final answer of the given forces